Hello, 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 everybody. Good morning, everyone. If you are new here, my name is Will. And I'm Jose. Will and Jose. So yeah, guys, we actually left the city and we're now living that province life. We're province boys. So our friend was so gracious enough to let us stay with him for a few weeks, maybe a month. And we're in the Loan. Yes, we're in the Loan. And we'll be going back and forth because he also has a home in Balamban. And those are two provinces that we just love to be in. We do. And we couldn't be any more excited. I mean, we love the province. Yeah, because we live in the city. I feel like we were always in the province with our friends. So it's like, and we fell in love with it and the people. So we're glad to be here. It's a little different pace of life right now. It's true. And it's not a bad thing. And there's a reason why we're here, which we'll tell you a little bit later. But right now we're heading towards the gym and we're just excited to be living in a much quieter setting. Yeah, so uh, bear with us as we navigate this new <laughs> life. I don't think it's going to be that drastically different, but still. All right, guys, let's get to the gym. Good only low on. One of the first things we did when we moved to Liloan for a while is to see where the nearest gym is at. And thankfully, they have one. A little bit of a walk, but hey, they at least have a gym. I don't know if you guys can hear how loud it is this morning. And that's because a lot of people here in the province commute into the city. It takes about like an hour and a half on a good day to get into the city. So it's like six in the morning, everyone's heading to work. And like we'll say, we're heading to our happy place, which is the gym. What we're also doing is to get our clothes to a laundromat, which is right next to this gym. I hope it's open. When we lived in the city, we had the luxury of just taking like 10 steps. Now it's become 10 blocks. I mean, the good thing is it's literally right by the gym, so yeah. it's out of the way. kitten heel. It's my um, it's my little training heel when I squat because I can't do it with just a flat shoe. Mm. An eight inch heel. That's not an eight inch, inch. that's a millimeter. <laughs> Let's get back to working out. Play curls. Oh, play day. <laughs> Gym Etiquette 101. Remove your weights, William. Now I have to do extra work. This is either a maraca or a drumstick. That's a turkey leg. Turkey leg. And I'm doing the shaky leg. This is my, well, sweat from working out. Beautiful. Laundry time. Need your laundry wash? Come here. All right. Workout and laundry are check, check. And guys, we're living in the province, so when it comes to equipment at a gym, it's not gonna be what you would expect at a gym in the city. It's true, but it gets, they have everything. It gets the job done, and actually, probably like 90% of the time, they have a piece of equipment that you wish they had at another gym, let's be honest. True. Especially when it comes to leg, leg stuff. Also, their dumbbells are so deceiving because they're all made out of metal. So the 35 pound dumbbell that you will hold at a gym in the city is way different than the ones you will hold here in the province. But it gets the job done and we're glad we found it. And it's only 600 pesos per month per person. Yeah. So not bad, it's way cheaper than it was in the city. Way cheaper, we're paying 1800 pesos a month, so. And that was on a promo per yeah. person. It was per person, don't forget that. So a perk, perk about living in the province. And laundry cost us 332 pesos, which was wash, dry, delivery, and detergent. Exactly. 
Again. Can't beat the price. What did you get, William? These the ube and guys, these things are so good. They're only six cents. Here's a good thing. Here's the reason why I like the little the markets or the little bakeries alongside the road. Everything they do is baked fresh every single day. So you know it's gonna be good. We we yet to be disappointed. Breakfast time. Oh, oh, Nelly's playing the jams. Okay. Into music. Okay. Breakfast, the most important meal of the day, and a meal you can't miss out. Nah, you can miss out all the time. <laughs> we're gonna get a quick breakfast in because we're gonna catch a one of those white mini buses into the city, so we could head over to Balamban because that's where they're gonna do a little fiesta for us, welcoming us to the province. They're not doing a fiesta for us. They're, they're having a fiesta, it's not for us. But we're gonna pretend like it is. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna take you from one province to another and that's how life is here in the Philippines. We just never know what's gonna happen. It's a human what? It's a human centipede. No, no. Manipede? The human, the human <laughs> yarn ball? <laughs> anyway, we're all tied up in knots, so. Uh, oh, oh, yarn ball, knots, nah, get it? Uh, okay. We're gonna head over to lunch. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna to lunch. <laughs> Ow. All right, let's, you're out. You're sitting perfectly fine. I'm sitting with the thing of my head. No, no. To kick off our life here in the province, our dear friend here is setting up this budo fight for us. To be fair, it's not for us, but it's for, <laughs> yeah. it's for everybody. We like to but think it's friends. Us. He has, but yes, it's going to only be our second budo fight. I'm drinking tuba, by the way. Yeah, we have our amazing chef Nettie in the kitchen making everything that goes into a budo fight, and they just dropped off the lechon, which you'll see is a dear friend of ours. <laughs> As you heard, I'm drinking tuba. This is not my first time drinking tuba. Actually, the first time I drank tuba, I drank it with ice. And apparently, you shouldn't be doing that because I lived in the bathroom for an entire week. Like, legit, was I couldn't do anything. I couldn't go anywhere. And if we did, we had to like make sure it was close to the bathroom. And that was even with Imodium. But That's anti-poop pills, guys. So, I had a moment. But anyway, if you don't know tuba, it's actually like, is it? What is it? It comes from the coconut tree, and it's before it turns into vinegar, which is like 24 hours or something like that. It's not for everybody. It actually, the smell kills it before anything else, but it's actually really good, and it does the job. Oh, that's so good in here. Like and subscribe. What are you doing over here, Natty? Like and subscribe, or, or okay. like and subscribe, don't know. Will and Jose travel. That's my girl. That's a girl. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down, along came you. Though you might be a liar and a cheat too. I just can't break it down because I love you. Yes, I <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's on camera shot. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Elgin. Hi, Elgin. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> the party's All here. Right, the party's here. These kids are my favorite, by the way. Especially this little this one, one over here. This is with 5,000 girlfriends. <gasps> and then. Apollo! Look at Apollo! Hi, Adela. Hi, Adela.
lot of food, you guys. The food's good, though. Man, they don't, they don't do food like this anywhere else. I would just say that. They really don't. And when you know they're cooking it with heart and with their own hands, it tastes just even better. Here we have Will just being distracted with the kids at the kids' oh, table. Sorry. <laughs> but again, the food was delicious. and It's hard to control how much you eat, right? Again, it's not on the plate, so you can't yeah. But we did good. We barely ate. We did a good now. We barely ate. And we barely <laughs> ate honey lechon, to be fair. Yeah, that's true. For we the first time. We ate more of the seafood. And you guys, to make this little mini fiesta even better, we have a video juki here. So we're going to sing our heart style later today with these little kids. No. Whatever you said was wrong. Say hi. No. Hi. I told the, the eldest brother of him is uh -huh. Jolly One. And then he's the second is Jolly Two. <laughs> Where's Jolly B? <laughs> Jolly one. We get this whole thing in tuba, and I'm the only one drinking it. <laughs> it's that time. It's that time, guys. Karaoke time. Ever since we did it a few weeks ago, I feel like every week we do karaoke. What are your top three karaoke songs? Baby One More Time, for sure. Wait, Baby One More Time. Um, I don't think I have a top three. Baby One More Time is definitely like my top three. Other two, I don't know. I have to discover them because we haven't been doing it that long. I need to know what, what songs were for my vocals. <laughs> you guys, it's hard picking your top three karaoke songs because there's this massive book that comes with this jukebox and you get slightly intimidated by just the list of all the songs that are out there that you could possibly sing. And then you also have the pressure of the people that already are expert karaoke singers waiting for the book to find the number to their song. So, what's the tip that you will give Clint leading up to karaoke? Have some songs ready, but also just realize if you can't sing worth the crap, it's fine. It's just about having fun. I think that's what took me the longest, is like realizing you might not be able to hit those chords, but if you're having fun, they're going to join a long clap, so just have fun. <laughs> Realize, realize you can't be a vocal actress like Britney all the time, oh, or a Mariah, or a Gaga, or any of those people, or Beyonce. <laughs> and be sure to pack enough red horse to last the night. Hey. <laughs> My girl. <laughs> Fire. How about you? That's the way I like to get another get bored. Hey, hey now. 